going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a while since I've gotten with you guys. I've kind of run into, I guess what you call Murphy's Law when it comes to actual life. I ended up taking my wife to the emergency room yesterday. Uh, I had to call off work. Uh, she has this thing where she's afflicted with kidney stones and she has multiple stones in each kidney. So she was unable to walk around. I saw her get up yesterday morning and uh, make her way to the bathroom for like the second or third time for the night. So I knew something was wrong. And so I went into the living room and I saw her laying on the couch and she was in a lot of pain. So I took the day off, took her to the hospital, to the emergency room. Uh, they fed her meds. They gave her morphine twice and it still didn't get rid of the pain. They ended up prescribing her other medications to uh, stop any infection in her kidney and to dull the pain. So we actually got to go and see a urologist, a specialist, to find out what's wrong with her. So I'm in the middle of dad duty. Had to cook some dinner yesterday, so that was fun. And dealing with the little kids and whatnot and my, my teenage sons. It's been kind of busy and hectic around here. But I want you guys to know that tomorrow the Beastly Thought Show will be live. Whether I'm there or not, I don't know yet. But I want to let you guys know what we're going to be talking about and also what you need to chime in on. Tomorrow's roundtable topic will be when is a good time to announce a new game. There's been a lot of issues and dilemmas circling this topic for a long time when some developers choose to announce a game very, very early and sometimes years before the actual product. Uh, take into account Kingdom Hearts 3, uh, Final Fantasy 7, the remake, and those kind of games will come to mind. Sometimes these games are out seven, eight, nine years before they're ever even released, like The Last Guardian. When is a good time to announce a game? I know that developers like to get their information out there and get people excited, but if you get people excited too early, they will start to lose that excitement. Kind of like what happened with The Last Guardian. By the time that game came out, uh, people weren't really excited about it, myself included. Wasn't really super excited about it the way I would have been if the game was maybe announced a few months prior. So, that's the question for the roundtable topic tomorrow. I would love for you guys to tune in live and watch the show. You can do that at www.twitch.tv forward slash briarrabbit. There's a link in the description. Click on that link and watch us tomorrow at 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern. Thank you all so much for joining us for Beastly Thoughts Live. If you're unable to see the live show or the video format, you can always download the podcast format. And we do have our podcast on Podbean and iTunes or your favorite podcast provider. Check the links in the description and we'll see you tomorrow at Beastly Thoughts Live, episode 158. I'm the Beastly Gamer and I'll see you guys next time.